Hey guys, so in this video, we will show you how you can integrate Dolly 2 API into your bubble application. So before moving that, let's do a quick demo on what Dolly 2 is. So let's suppose you say it, you throw it any prompt, like you can say a bubble IOML with no code power and click on render. Now what it will do, it will generate you an, an image according to the description that you provided. And we'll see that uh, that image generated from the AI into this image box here. So just give it a little bit time, and it will appear here. So although the description is not right, so it it has to be really descriptive. But the AI has generated uh, generated as an image here. So let's see how we can actually integrate the API into our bubble application. So to actually create the API in your bubble application you have to come into this url i will attach the link in the description and openai has uh, actually described everything here so you just need to come here and select curl so as you can see we only have uh, uh, two headers here and then we have data here that we need to send to api so let's copy this url that we have to send the request to and the request is actually post request so let's go back into the bubble application come back here and we'll create a new api call here which will be post so let's change the name of the call as well so it is generate an image from text and because we will use this in the workflow we have to set it as action and then it can remain as json for the headers we have two headers defined here from from them so the first is content type so let's move back add a header here paste it down here so once you have so uh, the other header is actually i'm um, because i have already have this call as well i have actually made it a shared header here so bubble what it what it will do is the authorization header will actually go into all of these calls that we will build here so this is a shared header we so the benefit of it is that you do not have to build to include individually uh, the authorization individually to each uh, of the api so it saves you a lot of time uh, you can do the same thing for content type as well but uh, i have just just for the sake of example we are giving one header here so you have to make sure that the api key that you will get uh, is actually uh, it should come after this bearer so this is very important uh, and about the uh, about how you can get your uh, uh, api key what you can do is you can come here uh, after login and then you can click on view api keys so once you go into the view api keys you can actually generate a new secret key from here and then when, what you can do is you you cannot uh, really see this api key ever because it is only used once you do not share it and with anyone uh, mine one is a little bit shown but uh, it is not fully shown so i'm safe for that part as well and then uh, if you go into the documentation again so the only thing left here is uh, are these three parameters so let's copy them <coughs> let's come here and let's say let's say we copy it from here So let's try if this call works now. And it works. So <clears throat> the data is actually list and it gives us two of the images. So the data is actually an idea and this is the first item from it and this is the second item from it. So let's save the response. And because we have to send the prompt 
as dynamic what we will do is we will actually make it copy and then we will say prompt we can make p capital and then d the, so the n is actually number of images how many images for this uh, certain description the api will return us so if we can actually make this dynamic as well so let's go with simple n or number of images and then the sizes so for the size part so this is very simple or uh, just So the sizes of the image if you go into the documentation you can see that the size of the generated images must be one of these so these are the only sizes that the api will return as it will not return as any other uh, size so it will always be a scale image not a wide image not a portrait image anything so let's check if this call works now so let's come into the so uh, I have already created a front end here. So in the front end, I just have an input and on the button, the we'll call the API and then the image that will return from the API will just show it into this image element. And this, Im uh, this image element is actually getting the state of this page. So, this, so after the, we get the response, we save it in the page state. And then this element is getting that image that is saved in the pages state okay so when you click on this button we'll actually uh, now call the api but before that i want to show a loader just for the sake of ui per ui ux purposes so it is always good to have a loader and then we'll call the api so here is our api generate an image from text so just click here okay i need to make it public as well this should not be private then when we come here we can say the prompt should be input input prompt value and then we can we can make this uh, dynamic as well by having an input on the front end but i'm not doing that right now and for the size sizes you can make a drop down from where you can make the user select any of the three sizes but for now we'll we are just going to create it in the static pair and after that what we will do is we'll set the state of the page so by setting the state of page so this is our page we'll uh, store the image that we'll, we are getting from this api into this state so result of step two's data so the data is actually array so because we are getting an uh, n number of images so it, that's why it is array but in our case because we are getting only one image we'll just say datas so just give us the first item in the data and then get us the url of that first item so and then we'll hide the loader and now we can actually move to this page and we can test it out if it works or not so let's remove the debugger okay we can say a cat with wearing a queen helmet <laughs> while sitting on throne having t okay let's render this image and let's see what it gives us in the result okay so we had a problem here so we needed to actually wrap it in the course since we are making it dynamic so we have to wrap it in double quotes here 
and then because it is an integer no double quotes here and then again this is not an integer because it contains x and all so you have to type it in the double quotes as well and then let's go to let's try it out again a kid a cat wearing a queen helmet while sitting on the throne having tea let's render this image now and let's see what it gives us in the response okay wait for it here we go so the cat is wearing that helmet and she's having tea while sitting on the throne so this is how the api will work so thank you so much for watching this video if you uh, are liking these um, chat gpt or open ai tutorials please let me know in the channel uh, channel comments so I, I so i could make more videos on that thank you so much have a good day